While Sephiroth is undoubtedly Final Fantasy VII's main enemy, and arguably the most well-known villain from the entire Final Fantasy series, I've always found Genova's story just as interesting. Genova is, after all, the calamity that fell from the skies, and the basis for many of the events that take place in Final Fantasy VII, as well as being present throughout much of the original game, albeit in various different forms. In this video I will take a brief look at Genova's origins and story, and also explain why I think Genova is such an interesting entity in the context of Final Fantasy VII, even though in truth we don't know that much about her. Roughly 2,000 years before the events that take place in FF7, a meteor crashed into Gaia, creating the North Crater. As explained by Ifalna, who is believed to be the last true Cetra, the alien life form which emerged and later became known as Genova was able to disguise itself, taking the form of their dead relatives. Calling Genova the crisis from the sky, Ifalna explains how the creature deceived them and finally gave them the virus. While it's never explicitly stated what the virus was that largely resulted in the downfall of the Cetra, clearly this shows just how devastating and potent Genova's genetics are, given that her cells were later used in the creation of Soldier and also resulted in the Geostigma Plague seen in Advent Children. Even though the Cetra were eventually able to defeat and confine Genova, their race had been largely wiped out as a result of the Calamity from the Skies. After lying dormant for many hundreds of years, Genova was discovered at the North Crater by Shinra, who mistook her to be a member of the Cetra. The power company planned to use the creature's cells to create a human Cetra hybrid, who would then lead them to the Promised Land, from which they could harness more of the planet's energy. While this plan failed for obvious reasons, the Genova project had unexpected consequences. The creation of Super Soldiers. Project G, and of course Project S, resulted in Genesis, Angeal, and the legendary Sethiroth, who became members of Soldier, Shinra's elite fighting force. However, after learning that Genova was in fact not a member of the Cetra, but was actually a hostile alien life form, Professor Gast left Shinra in order to continue his research elsewhere, out of the company's reach, or so he thought. His departure, coupled with Sethiroth's clear superiority as the most powerful Soldier First Class, resulted in Professor Hojo taking control of Shinra's scientific exploits. The reason for Sethiroth's great strength stemmed from Hojo having taken the extraordinary measure to inject Genova cells into him while he was still in the womb, being carried by Lucretia, his biological mother. Even as Sethiroth became older, it was never revealed to him who his real parents were. Instead, he was merely told that his mother's name was Genova. It would not be until years later, during the terrible events that took place at Nibelheim, that Sethiroth would begin to uncover the truth about how he had been created. After seeing what had become of the Mako-infused mutants at the Nibble reactor, and reading about the Genova project, Sethiroth's descent into madness was set in motion, along with his desire to see the creature he called Mother. However, after being badly wounded by Cloud, Sethiroth was only capable of taking Genova's head rather than her entire body. After misjudging Cloud's strength while trying to leave the reactor, Sethiroth was thrown into the livestream while still holding onto Genova's head, the last time the true Sethiroth would be seen for a number of years. After the carnage at the reactor, Hojo, never one to let an opportunity for experimentation pass him by, took the chance to see whether his reunion theory was correct or not by injecting the survivors with Genova cells, leading to the creation of Sethiroth clones. While they wouldn't be clones in the true sense of the word, Hojo expected those injected with Genova cells, including Zack and Cloud, to be susceptible to manipulation by Genova. However, even he was surprised to learn later that they were actually being manipulated by Sethiroth. This started to become apparent when the rest of Genova's body, which had been moved from the Nibble reactor to Shinra's building in Midgar, broke free from its container, assumed the form of Sethiroth, and killed President Shinra before fleeing. After the party escapes the Shinra building and leaves Midgar, they begin their pursuit of Sethiroth, or at least, the figure they believe to be Sethiroth. Of course, it's interesting to consider that all of these events were being orchestrated by the real Sethiroth, whose body is actually encased in Mako at the North Crater. It was his powerful will that sparked Genova into life at that moment, and caused her to take on a form resembling him, perhaps because he sensed that her and Cloud were in close proximity at that time, and it's also his willpower that is urging Cloud, as a Sethiroth clone with Genova's cells in his body, to pursue Genova subconsciously. While there are clues along the way that things aren't quite what they seem, it's not until defeating Genova death and temporarily recovering the Black Materia that the party starts to get a true grasp of what they've been chasing. After Hojo reveals the details of his Sethiroth clone experiments to the others, and rather proudly states that his Genova reunion theory was proven, he explains that even if Genova's body is dismembered, it will try to become one again. He initially predicted that the so-called clones that he created would be drawn to Genova's body in Midgar, and that it would be her willpower that would control them. However, it was in fact Sethiroth that became the master, exerting his influence over all of the other clones infected with Genova's cells, and even Genova itself. 
While that's the last we really hear of Genova in Final Fantasy VII, Hojo does claim later on that it was his child that he injected with Genova's cells while it was still in the womb, and that he is therefore Sephiroth's biological father. We finally get to see what could be considered Genova's true form, known as Genova Synthesis, near the very end of FF7, while descending into the heart of the Northern Cave to battle Sephiroth. However, even when the being known as Genova itself was finally defeated, it wasn't the last time its impact would be felt. The creature's cells remained within the livestream, infecting thousands and leading to the formation of Geostigma. At the same time, Sethiroth's remnants seek what's left of Genova, hoping to use her cells to bring about Sethiroth's return. After her remains fall into the hands of Kadaj, he absorbs her cells into his body, allowing him to take the form of Sethiroth, much like Genova was able to take his form after escaping from confinement in the Shinra building. While Cloud is able to defeat Sethiroth again and Aerith is able to bring down a healing rain which cures those afflicted with Geostigma, it's unknown whether Genova's influence has been defeated for good. As I mentioned in the intro, the funny thing about Genova is, even though she is a major antagonist and has a large role in the events of Final Fantasy VII, there are many things about her that are never revealed, or left ambiguous on purpose. In fact, even Genova's gender is something of a mystery. While the creature is often referred to as her by most of the characters, and even seems to take a female form during the Nibelheim incident, we never know for certain that it is actually female. In fact, during the recordings of Professor Garst and Ifalna, she actually refers to Genova as either it or he, which as the last Cetra is something you'd expect her to know. The ambiguity surrounding Genova goes further than simply working out what her gender is. While it's generally accepted that Final Fantasy VII's true enemy was indeed Sethiroth, and that it was his will that took hold of Genova and all those exposed to Genova's cells, this issue is one that is still debated by fans. It's true that Sethiroth became immensely powerful by the end of the game, and that he was the one who was able to summon Meteor using the Black Materia, but the root cause of his strength are the Genova cells that he was injected with while still in the womb. By seeking to wound the planet with Meteor and turn it into his vessel, he is essentially fulfilling Genova's original goal. You could therefore argue that it was actually Sethiroth who was first manipulated by Genova and became her puppet, before any of the other events was even set into motion. After all, Genova is shown to be hugely resilient. She largely destroyed the Cetra, her cells are the ones used to create Soldier and the Sethiroth clones, and her cells even remained within the livestream after her body was destroyed. Genova's influence runs throughout all of the events that take place in Final Fantasy VII, which is why she's such an intriguing character. Now I'd love to hear your take on Genova and her role in Final Fantasy VII. Do you think it's possible to argue that she is, in some way, the one orchestrating events in FF7? Or do you think it was Sethiroth who was truly in control throughout the story? Share your thoughts below. If you found this video interesting then please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell too. Anyway Final Fantasy Gamers, until next time, thanks for watching.